Hello guys and welcome back. Today I have my Sephora sale haul and I have another big old box here. I definitely picked up more than I thought I would. I had a nice list and then I went into store. Then I watched more Sephora recommendations video and I just picked up a bunch of other stuff. So if you're interested and nosy like I am, continue watching. I have my little coffee here. Andrew made me a mocha. I don't know if you guys can see. He even sprinkled some cocoa on it because I was very sad. I've already recorded this video and I guess I didn't properly eject the disc and it completely lost all my files. So hopefully coffee will make me feel better. Uh, but I'm still excited to show you all the things that I have and let's get started. Mm, I think this is better than normal. It hits different when you're sad. I'm not really sad, I'm just a little bit more frustrated. Okay, let's get into it. First, let's start with a repurchase. This is Replica Lazy Sunday Morning Diffuser. And I've already talked about this in a different video in my Sephora sale recommendations. It is stunning. It smells like crisp, clean linens. It is so gorgeous, but it's a little bit more um luxurious smelling than just basic and so i use this in my bedroom i use it also in my living room now that it's spring summer i think it is stunning it just makes the whole room and that that area it just fills it up and it smells so clean i always get questions when somebody walks in my bedroom and kind of walks by the I guess dresser area they're like what is that smell and it is this it is a pricey little thing and so i'm glad i saved 20 percent on it but worth it absolutely i think mine lasted more than six months the other one and i will probably forever repurchase these so if replica is watching this and wants to hook me up with something i'm just kidding <laughs> no not really okay moving on a candle that i picked up and i am so excited this is the net candle in the magician and i've spoken about the fet candle that is more of a christmasy scent but this one is the magician and the vessel is absolutely stunning green is my favorite color usually more sagey green but this one also absolutely gorgeous now this one oh it is so good. I'll tell you real quick. The top notes, Mandarin, Cardamom, Middle, Cedarwood, Heart. You also have some Palo Santo in there. Sandalwood in the base, Patchouli. Wow. It is so, so beautiful. I really thought the Fet, the winter one, was like my all-time favorite candle. But this one, it may, it may take its place. I'm going to have to burn it and kind of let you guys know. I feel like they didn't fill it up as much as the other one maybe maybe i'm just making that up but i want to to read you this section right here it says every night he climbs the stage a dazzling spectacle a festival a parade of one the velvet curtain a wooden stake all of us come undone he says walk with me through this tarnished world watch me as my heart unfurls this is it our magic power. This life is ours. I really like that they put all these kind of um, little descriptions on all of their candles that kind of rep represent how the candle smells or what it reminds you of. And I love it. I'm definitely a reader and I, I don't know, it speaks to my soul. Okay. So I'm very excited about this. I've been waiting for the sale to purchase this. And I feel like every sale I'm going to purchase more from Net and a different candle just because I love their fragrance. I love their candles. So far, I haven't smelled anything that I didn't like from them. A couple other things that are not makeup related. I wanted to try Salt and Stone. I got their deodorant and their body lotion. The scent I picked up is the bergamot and hinoki. Now, I know their Suntol scent is a very popular. I smelled it in store and it definitely reminds me of Suntol 33. Is that the scent? I can't remember for sure, but it's the popular Le Labo scent. I do have a small bo bottle of that one and I do enjoy it, but this one was just a little bit more fresh, more clean, and it's kind of how I want to smell mostly now that summer's here. And I kind of am tempted to purchase the body wash because I'm almost out of my body wash and I really, really like the scent. I only tried the deodorant, but let's try the cream. Oops. 
It comes in a beautiful green packaging. I love this green. And let's poke it open and try it here. I have some makeup left over from my other video I recorded before. Mm, the smell is so fresh and clean. It's definitely like a spring summer scent. It feels very nice. It's not sticky at all. Yeah, I really like this. Mm, yeah, I'm probably gonna pick up the body wash as well because I really do need one. Moving on, the next two products are the ones that I am most excited and that is the Hourglass brushes. I have never tried Hourglass brushes, but lately I've been having this pull towards them. I've felt them at Sephora multiple times. They are very expensive, but they are dual ended. And so I already use them. I just kept the boxes for you, but um, this is the big powder one. And this is the, I don't know the name of it. I just threw the box on the floor, but the two dual ended brushes that they have. First of all, this one is so soft. I adore it. I've been using it every single day since I bought it and I love it for blush. I love it for bronzer. I love it for powder. I love it for anything that has to do with my complexion. Now this one I have not used yet. Maybe this side I tried it, but the other side I'm kind of wanting to use for like either cream contour or foundation. I don't know, I'll play with it. These two products I really wanted for my little makeup bag. I like to have a little makeup bag in my bedroom so I can kind of do my makeup easy. I don't have to come in the studio. And these brushes are gonna be so helpful. I usually don't like dual-ended brushes because I don't know how to store them. But one of my favorite ones for foundation is the It Cosmetics and I feel like between these three, I have everything for face. And I've been traveling some. I'm also traveling at the end of this month. And if anything for complexion, bronzer, except eyes, this is all I need. So I'm really excited for having these. It seems like such a boring thing to purchase and expensive, but they're they're fabulous. They are so soft and I, I love them. Moving on to this from one size. This is on Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Now this is the first product I've ever tried from one size and I wanted a setting spray that will lock in everything. It's starting to be more hot here and I really wanted my makeup to last all day. And I'm excited to try this. I've heard that it's like hairspray for your face and that's exactly what I want. If I can open this, I think it has a scent but I haven't tried it. I am doing a wear test on a foundation today, so I don't want to set it because I wanna see how the foundation lasts. So I will not try any of these, by the way, because I'm gonna do a Sephora haul try on because they, this video would be like an hour long, if not. So this is very exciting. Okay, what else do we have in this box? This is K18, these are samples. They just threw them in here. I did not purchase them, but this is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder. I got mine in translucent and I am so excited to try this on for you guys. I heard that it is already sold out at Sephora, the lighter colors. I really hope they're going to restock real quick, but I am very excited about this. I have been in desperate need of just kind of a touch-up powder or something that I could take with me, although this packaging is quite massive for just a powder, but I am out of my Charlotte Tilbury like powder under the eyes. I am almost, not almost, but I am kind of hitting pan on my Pat McGrath one. I was about to purchase the Charlotte Tilbury one when this one came available. So I'm just gonna try this on. And I know a lot of people are excited about this. So I'll make sure to test it out for you and show you. Okay, I have been so into House Labs products, so into it that I picked up four four new house labs products. First of all, I picked up their foundation in fair neutral 0000. It's pretty much white. Now I've seen a lot of people talking about mixing this white foundation into any of your other foundations and it doesn't change the texture. Now I personally have like straight up white pigments from my makeup kit and I've been using those, but those can be so pigmented. I have to be so careful. So how 
having a white foundation that is not full coverage. I'm just going to show you here. First of all, look at it. It's straight up white. Um, but when you blend it in, the pigment is not as intense. See, if I did that, just a drop with my uh, white pigments, it would be all white. So I thought that this would be a great way to use with all my foundations that are too dark or I'm not tan enough for them. Even the one from House Labs, I wear the shade 200, but if I'm not tan or it's not summer in the winter time, it can be a little deep. So I could just mix it. So I'm really, really excited about this. And then I picked up a new bronzer. I've raved about her powder bronzer. I think I put in my recommendations, my favorites. And the shade I have is shade four and it is beautiful, but it's a little light. So for summertime, I wanted shade six and it looks like the most perfect bronzer shade for me. I am so excited about it. Yes, this is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful shade so definitely wanted to pick this one up because i can't stop using my other sh color from house labs the shade four even though it's a little light for me now i build it up because i love the finish so much um, another blush from them i picked up the pomelo peach and i have picked up the french rosette and the fire moon and i really wanted this one and so I have it, I've already used it. Do I have it on? Let me just add just a dot so you guys can see just how beautiful this is. Oh, I love this tone so much. Honestly, all the neuter blushes that she came out with are beautiful. I wanna say I like this one the best out of all of them. At least now for summertime, it seems like such a beautiful, blush and then the last product from uh house labs it is the highlighter in rose quartz now i only picked this up because it's so viral right now or probably it was viral for a while i just kind of skipped on it but i have been testing out the rare beauty blushes the really highlighting blushes and i thought that this would look beautiful and so it's so light that the camera I can't even pick it up. Again, I can't put it on because I have the foundation testing, but I like this. It doesn't seem as pigmented almost as the Rare Beauty. So it's like a true highlighter blush topper, but it seems to be so smooth. Look at that. I really, really like this. So I'm very excited about this little blush right here. And it looked intimidating a little bit just because it's so pink, but once it blends out, it really is beautiful. Okay, so those are the House Labs products. Very excited. I think I'm going to do a full face of House Labs soon, although I don't think I have anything for their eyes. They had a limited edition eyeshadow, didn't they? But I don't have it, and I heard that it wasn't the best. So I don't know. I want to do a full face of House Labs. I love her products so much. Next, I have some eye products. These are the Give I See in Sparkle. Now, I have three shades here. Glimmer, which is the one that I have on right now. Then you have Twinkle and Dazzle. I initially just wanted Dazzle. I think it's a really pretty peachy kind of like toppery shade. But then I swatched Dazzle and I swatched Tinkle and I fell in love, so I picked them all up. Now, these aren't as chunky as you think. They are super soft, super glossy and blendable. It's so easy to put them on. I think it's gorgeous. I, this is the kind of product that I use all the time, a one and done kind of sparkly shade or all matte, but I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. Even though I have these kinds of beautiful topper sparkly in palettes, I tend to reach for single shadows more. This color, Twinkle, oh, it's so beautiful. I didn't open it yet, but we will right here. Again, I'm definitely going to test these out for you, but let's just try. This is almost a little bit more taupey. Ooh, that is so stunning. I'm, I'm really excited about these. I've heard good things about it since they released these, but just 
never pick them up and um, I walked by the brand the other day and started playing with them and I was just mesmerized. So picked those three shades. I think those are the only shades that they have. Last bag. Here we have some Dior products. I picked up the Star Filter Forever Glow and I initially skipped on this whole release, but I've seen some good reviews about this, how it is kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, but a little bit more subdue. It is so windy outside. Can you guys hear that? It's almost like tornado-y, but I didn't see any tornado warning. Anyway, back to this product. I picked it up in shade three, and the thing I liked about this so much is that it looked so smooth, yet it was very glowy, but I feel like it's more wearable than the Charlotte Tilbury on its own. I could use this all over the face with concealer, a little bit of powder, and I think I would be very, very happy. With the Charlotte Tilbury, it can be a little bit stronger. I have not tested this out. I'm just like assuming from the swatches. Uh, and it, it has almost like a filter effect on the skin. So I'm very excited about this. And I also picked up from the same line, one of the blushes. This one, the Forever Glow Maximizer in the shade Rose. Now this one, I have tried it on and I think I've even done a Instagram story about it because I was so mesmerized. I've tried it in store and I picked it up right away. That is the color. And you know, I have so many blushes and I really didn't wanna pick another blush topper thing, but this really stole the show for me because it has a beautiful shift in it. It's glowy without it being too much. It's pigmented enough to be a blush and I don't think the camera will pick it up, just how beautiful it is. Probably once I put it on the skin, but yeah. I really am so excited about this. I was sure I wanted the peach color, but the peach one looked almost like a highlighter on me. It wasn't so pigmented as a blush, but this one definitely was blush on me. Like I, this is not a blush topper. It's a beautiful, super glowy blush that has a shift in it. I'll try it on for you in the next video. And then another Dior product is the Dior Show Maximizer 3D. This is like the base serum thing that you put before the mascara. I've heard a lot of people loving it. And you know, I have tried these primer, kind of lash primer thing, and they're fine, but I've never seen a huge enough difference for me to purchase them and use them, take more time. But I am curious about this because there's been actually a lot of you guys that told me that this is your holy grail product, that I should pick it up and try it. And so I did, I will test it out. I'm gonna do side by side, one with, one without. I want something that makes my um, mascara lasts longer. That's what I want. Something that doesn't smudge and helps with that. So I'm very curious if that will give it to me. I got a lot of lip products. <laughs> We're going to leave those to the end. Okay. This is an interesting one. Super Goop Protect Tint Daily SPF. Now I've seen some terrible reviews on this and some really good ones. So I am very curious. I didn't want to pick this up just because I've seen the bad reviews, but then I swatched it in store and it looked so good. I've heard that it can peel on some people. So I'm gonna test this out. I got the shade 24 and I think it's gonna be a good shade for me. And I tend to wear a lot of tinted SPF, just lighter foundations. And I thought that this would be really something that I would love. I love my CL one so much. And so I thought maybe, maybe that will do, but I'll let you guys know. Talking about CL, I picked up their bronzer contour thing, sculpting stick. This is in the shade medium and I'll show you just the packaging. Okay. First of all, it feels extremely cheap. It feels like it should be drugstore price. And this was not, not cheap at all. All these other CL products are nice glass, very luxurious. This green is gorgeous. This one looks like it's a copy, a bad copy. The green is just like, 
It's just ugly. I don't like the packaging at all, and I'm kind of turned off by it because of that. But the shade seems nice, and we'll see how the quality is. And yeah, it seems honestly really nice. That shade is beautiful. And look, it blends in really nice. So I'm excited about the product. I'm just so bummed about, you know, the, the packaging. It's expensive, so we need something better. This is literally drugstore plastic packaging. Not okay. Guys, I think these are all the products. I have a problem. As if I don't have enough lip products and lip glosses and all that stuff. Let's start with a restock. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. Mine is itty bitty. Here is mine. Uh, it's tiny and it's still very usable, but it is getting a little bit dry and a little bit old. I'm still going to try to use it and see how much more I can get out of it. It's just the formula is not the same because I've had it for so long. So I just decided to stock up on that. Oh, this is not a lip product. This is a concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is an old favorite. I feel like everybody used to love this. I got the shade Custard. And I was actually at Ulta, just kind of looking around and saw this. I wasn't wearing much makeup. I was like, oh, let me swatch it. And I was like, wow, this is so good. I should, you know, introduce it back in my collection. And I'm very excited. It gives really good coverage. It's not too glowy. It stays in place. I think this is going to be great for summertime because it, it just stays in place. Another product actually that's not lips, that's not even from a Sephora, but I'm going to include it here. This is the Natasha Denona Skincare Infused Glow Beautifier. Now I did not know that you need the little dropper for this, or it's not that you need it, but you can use it with something like that. I have enough serums things like that that I could kind of combine it with this. I purchased mine from Ulta. I don't think it's available at Sephora yet, but it's coming. And I purchased it in the shade medium. Uh, the fair was sold out, but to be honest, I would not have wanted fair because even this is way too bright. So I think this is supposed to be, you could use it as a primer under, you could use it as a highlighter on top. It's an interesting formula because it feels a little bit creamy, a little bit powdery. So I'm curious about this. I'm going to try it and let you guys know, but um, I thought I would just show you. Okay, now everything else is lip products. First of all, let me tell you about a discovery. These are the Ola Hendrickson new lip peptide treatments. I have not heard many people talk about it until this past month when I started looking at reviews because I tested one in Sephora and I was like, oh, I actually really like that. And I fell in love. I first tried the color Coco Creme. And the thing I liked most about it is that it is kind of thicker a little bit, not sticky whatsoever, but because it has that thickness, it lasts so well on the lips and it's so juicy. I really like it just a little bit of a thicker formula when it comes to glosses. If it's too thin, it just kind of moves around and it's very moisturizing. So that's the color Cocoa. I'm gonna swatch the other ones as well. I have the color Citrus, I think. It's kind of a, a clear one with a tiny bit of a yellow tint and they all smell differently. Yeah, that's the clear one with just a little bit of a yellow tint. I would consider that clear though. I am putting that one on my nightstand because it's really, really moisturizing. And then we have the strawberry something. What's this name? Strawberry sorbet. And that is very scented. That's a strawberry scent. So those are the three colors. They're very beautiful, very juicy. And I love the formula. New discovery for me. And yeah, I'm excited about them. They remind me a little bit of the House Labs glossy lip gloss, whatever, three in one. Uh, because they're both a little bit thicker yet very glossy and non-sticky. So anyway, I thought I would mention that. And then I picked up a few more shades from the Huda Beauty, the Full Filler, the lip gloss, the color Honey and Glassy. I have the baby pink one, but this is the one I initially wanted, but it's sold out. So that looks like a beautiful shade. These are, again, 
lip gloss is a little thicker, which I like as they last so much longer. And that color, ooh, yes. It's gonna be beautiful. I kinda wanna try the glossy on my lips right now. I don't think I have a straight up just see-through gloss. So I'm gonna try this on. Okay, I'm definitely ruining the applicator. Mm, it just makes your lips look so huge. I'm gonna clean it up because I don't want a bunch of my lipstick to get in there. I do love that. I feel like that's something that it's a great staple to have in your collection. Mm, it is so glossy. Okay, and then two other products. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in Fair. When I saw this being released, I was like, mm, not interested, okay? It's way too pinky and cool tone for me. But then I swatched it in the store and I loved it. I loved it pair with the Iconic Nude Lip Liner. I didn't like it by itself, but I put it just in the center of the lip and it is gorgeous. It's not too uh, cool tone or too warm. It's a beautiful, really light pink. And I'm not huge on pink lipsticks, but that one, I really, really liked it. I had to place an order for it because I tried it in store, kind of played with it. And I liked it so much that I decided to order it. And then the last product is inspired by my daughter. She wanted this. This is the Jisoo Lip Oil, Honey Infused Lip Oil. She tried to open it. I don't know if you guys can tell. She just butchered the packaging. But this is the pink sparkly one. And I put this on and it's beautiful. It's so juicy, kind of like this with a little bit of sparkles. Should we add more? But the scent, man, I read reviews that the scent is not great and it's really not. It's kind of just fake. I don't care enough because it doesn't last throughout the day but it's not a pretty smell. I think they were trying to make it watermelon, but it just smells like fake watermelon smell. But I like the texture of it. I like the way it feels on the lips. I like that it has a little bit of a kind of pink sparkle through it. It's not too much, it's very elegant, and it definitely makes your look, lips just look extra juicy. Wow, that was a lot of products. I pretty much have a full face of just new products in the next Sephora haul try on. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. And I would love to know what you picked up. I'm super nosy. So let me know all the good stuff that you picked up that you absolutely love. I think the Sephora sale is still going on. Hopefully I won't do any more damage that I've already done, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.